Have you ever tried to upload an audio file only to get this bounce back on an NEC system? In this quick guide, I'll show you the way I convert my audio files, and it's free. So the site that I use is audio.online-convert.com. It's a great site. I've been using it for years, and it hasn't let me down. So on the left-hand side, you click on Convert to Wave. And as you can see that there's other audio formats there you can convert to, but I'll just be covering the WAV file for the phone system specifically. So now it's time to choose your file, or you can drag and drop it. So I'll just grab it from my other screen. Okay, so now these are the finer details that you will need for the phone system audio format to work. For the bit resolution, I have found that 16-bit is the best. Sampling rate, 800 hertz. Audio channels, make it mono, and then click on Show Advanced Options, and then click PCM A Law, and hit Start Conversion. So then you wait for the file to convert and pop up, and then you just save it to the desktop. So now you've logged into your NEC SV9100 system with your user level password. Now down the bottom you'll see some speaker icons. You need to click on the one that has station in brackets. This is where you can see everyone's recordings and listen to it, delete it, upload. If you are loading a music on hold file, you'll be clicking on the VRS audio up download speaker. So once you've got your extension selected, you enter the message number block that you want to load the audio file to. So if you want to enter it in one, you put a one, two, you put a two. You can have multiple greetings saved at the same time, so one might be for day, and you can activate one for night mode, you know, holiday break, you go on holidays, you activate that separate greeting without deleting your original greeting in block one. So if your upload is successful, you'll see a time and date stamp, the file size, and the play time of the file. You can also download the file again, and you can delete it. Then you can hit home and then log out. Always remember to log out. So there is another way to upload these greetings. Uh, on the left hand side you can click on telephone settings and then you select the extension you want to load the message for and hit the hammer and spanner icon. Up the top you'll see in mail station mailbox options. You click on that and then you'll see a little speaker icon down the bottom which you can click on. And once you click on the little speaker you'll see a menu similar to what I just showed you in the previous section. Alright, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it please click the thumbs up button. Maybe even if you didn't enjoy it still click the thumbs up button. If I did help you out please consider sharing it around so I can help other people out. Thank you.